user event scripts get executed on your netsuite application server side user event script get triggered whenever you create a record update or delete or copy a record either via ui or maybe an integration like soap web services or rest web services or maybe some third parties like dell boomi or mulesoft or even if you perform any csv import for some records at that point this user event gets triggered okay previously we have seen client script which had multiple entry points starting from page init till the save record in the same way user event script also have some default entry points which is provided from netsuite hand so now let's check what are the three different entry points which are available in user event script so i'm going to create a new script file from my visual studio code which is going to be user event script so i'm going to select the user event script type and let's click okay without selecting any modules and let's provide some default name for this now I have the basic syntax of this user event script in version 2.1. We have three different entry points on this user event script. One is before load, the other one is before submit, and the final one is after submit. Okay. When this three different entry points gets triggered, so to, to check that I have added log.debug on all the entry points, which says respective entry point got triggered. And also I have placed script context.type, which will tell me whether it is in create mode, view mode, or edit mode, something like that. On before load, I have also set a memo value to before load. So let's say for example, if I deploy the script on a sales order record, whenever the sales order page is being loaded, I want the memo value to be set as before load. In the same way, I have added log.debug for before submit and the same code for before submit as well. On after submit, I have just kept my log.debug. So now the code has been uploaded successfully. Let's go back to Netsuite account. So let's create our script record for user event scripts. So in order to do that, I'm gonna to navigate to customization, scripting, scripts, and then I'm gonna click on new. Now let's select our file. So I have selected my file here and I'm going to click on create script record. So I have provided a meaningful name and I will leave the ID to be auto generated. Now let's click save and deploy. Now let's apply this particular user and script on a sales order record. ID I'm going to leave it to be auto generated as of now, but I would suggest you to enter some meaningful ID always. And status let it be testing. Even type will leave it empty. Log level let's keep it as debug. And if you clearly notice in execute as role, we have an option to choose the specific role. But right now it is set as current role, which means automatically my the role which I'm using or the role which I'm going to use whenever I create a sales order or test the sales order, that role will be considered as current role and the script will be executing based on that particular role. So since we are going to just test this, so let's leave the audience and everything as it is. And coming to context filtering, here you can clearly see, as I mentioned, before this user event script will get executed even from CSV import, debuggers, also the integrations like REST web services and web services, SOAP web services and all those stuffs with the default selection and let's click on save. So let's test our user event script now. In order to do that, since we deployed our script on sales order record, I'm gonna create a sales order record. I'm gonna navigate to transactions, sales and click on enter sales order. So now when I click enter sales order from my browser, which is from client side or net from Netsuite UI, the request should be sent to the Netsuite application server, which is our point number one here. And now the application server will try to find that enter sales order page in the database. And if the database, that particular page is available and those pages will be loaded back to our server, which is our point number three here. And since we have deployed our user event script on a sales order record, and this is on server side script, now the user event before load will get triggered before setting this enter sales order page back to our browser or Netsuite UI. So at this point, our before load will get triggered and it will send back our enter sales order page. Now let's go back to our Netsuite account. Now we got the response back from the server. So in this case, my before load should have get triggered. So let's check our deployment for the execution log. Since we have loaded our enter sales order page, I will just click refresh on this execution log sub tab. I can see before load has been triggered on this and which says create is our script context dot type. So we can confirm before load has been triggered. Now still there are two more which is before submit and after submit. I have filled up all my customer data and the item level data in the sales order record. And one more thing which I mentioned in the script is we are trying to set the value of memo. Right now we added a code in before load to set the value. We can see that also in our memo field. Now when I click save on this sales order record, so what will happen in the backend is, now the browser will send the sales order data to commit or save the Netsuite application server. Now Netsuite application server will try to commit it to our database, which all the data which we sent, like customer items of this, all the data for that particular sales order. 
at this point like before committing those data to our database the before submit will get triggered now let's say after submitting the data to our database successfully and the sales order has been created let's say in that case after saving the sales order our after submit will get triggered at this point since we have this uh, user event before submit and after submit on our server side so after committing to the uh, database let's say application server will trigger our user event after submit and once the server side script has successfully executed now server will send back the response with a view mode of our sales order record back to our client side so when it sends back to a browser side you can clearly see the record which we receive is in view mode at this point again the before load will also get triggered because after submitting it to the database it will load the view mode of this particular sales order record page and that point again user event before load will get triggered and we will get the response back to our let ui so let's click save on the sales order record and let's see the output so now that our transaction has been successfully saved and the server has responded back with the sales order which we just saved in a view mode and if you clearly notice we still have the button to open this record in edit mode we'll not click on that but we'll just go back to our script deployment and cross check our execution log but as per our code we can clearly see before submit has triggered and it has set the memo value to before submit now let's go back to our script deployment page and let's refresh our execution log and we can see the before submit has been triggered on type create and after that we can see our after submit has also been triggered on the type create and once it has successfully saved it to our database netshoot server has responded back with the view mode of the sales order page since it is returning back the new page or the view mode page of this sales order it would have loaded those sales order record view mode page from the database so hence the before had also been triggered on this and the context.type also shows as view bye have a great time